Hey folks, how you doing today? So what we have here is a 1930s Theo A. Koch barber chair. This just came out of the shop this morning. These are a tremendous amount of work. Everything was disassembled and sent out for nickel plate. This is all completely nickel plated. This is a porcelain chair, but in many cases the porcelain isn't the beauty we would want it when we put it back together. So we took it out and we did automotive Wimbledon white. So it's just a bit of an off color white. I had the upholstery done. This is Porsche leather. I went to my upholstery. This is real leather. This is not Naga hide. This is not imitation. This is Porsche leather. Uh, this chair is absolutely beautiful all the way around. Everything has been plated. This is so smooth. I mean, it's it's been painted, buffed, uh, color sanded, buffed. Uh, it's just an absolutely stunning chair as well as here you see. Here's the pad in the same color leather for when the chair is up and reclined. So the way this works, right, is clearly everything works. Goes up, down, and then here is where you recline it. And as you recline it, you see, this is where the feet go, okay? So that when the client is laying down here, he has leather all the way around, as well as this here goes up and down, right? So a bigger or smaller man and the barber would adjust for all of that. Um, come on, baby. This chair is absolutely gorgeous. Completely done. Works well. Wimbledon white. Let me get the phone. Oh, somebody's wanted to buy it already, Jim. Yeah, they already want it. Amazing. See, up here it's hot yeah. off the direct. Yeah, they already seen it. Uh, back to this. Look at the back of the... Uh, of the headrest. Everything's been taken apart. Everything is plated very nicely. Uh, once again, the paint is exquisite. This is a stunning chair. Uh, if you like a nice barber chair, this is the one to get. And so much, thank you for your time. You don't spin around for me? Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah.